Hey guys, it's Laura. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a new project. I am doing another round of the roulette pan collab. So this project was started by Alexi and Rebecca Morgan here on YouTube. They are doing, this is their two year anniversary of this project. So they've done five rounds in the past. Um, they did two on their own and then they opened uh, the last three up to anybody who wants to join. So um, it is the sixth round, but it is the second round that I am participating in. So if you want to check out my previous project, um, you can, I will link that uh, down below so you can watch that as well. It just has all my project pans in a playlist. Um, but anyways, so this is a new round and it, this project runs for four months. So what this project is, is basically we pick five or six items from uh, like random generate uh, a number one through 50. Each number corresponds to a prompt on a spreadsheet that we have and then we pick a product to fit that prompt. So I picked six all new numbers uh, and I didn't, I wasn't, uh, if I got one from the previous round then I just chose another, another number. I don't think I had to do that, but I want to go through every prompt before I start over again from the beginning. So yeah, this is one of my favorite project pans. Um, I think it's just so cool that so many people do it. And um, I just think it's fun. I like having to randomly select a number and get a prompt because it's forcing you to maybe use products, pro products that you wouldn't normally put in a project pan. Um, these are ones maybe I wouldn't normally put in, but because I got the prompt, I am putting it in. So uh, yeah, so I'm really excited. So let me go ahead and uh, just let's just start off with the first item. So I got number 16, which is, I think these are the right numbers. I counted, but anyways, if I'm off, I apologize. But number 16, uh, a product you regret buying. So for that, I picked this, it's the e.l.f. Multi-Stick, and this is what it looks like. Um, this is in the shade Glistening Peach, and I think it's like one that you can use on your eyes, on your cheeks, on your lips. Um, I don't like those type of products, and the reason I bought it was, it was on clearance. I got it at Target. It was like two or three bucks. It was, I think it was under three for sure, to something. Um, and then I also saw like, uh, trends from like around the world I think like in Japan they do like the monochromatic look where they just put a wash of pink on on their eyes and on their cheeks and on their lips and it's all the same color I was like oh yeah I want to do that no I, I really don't it's not m really my cup of tea um so anyways I bought this and yeah I it was cheap so I'm not out that much money however I should have known it wasn't the type of product for me. So let me swatch it for you. It's kind of, it's just like a pink balm. Of course I swatch it in the weirdest spot. So there it is. So my goal for the first month is to see if I can find a way to use it that I like it. So I'm going to try it on my eyes. I'm going to try it on my cheeks. I'm going to try it on my lips. I think if nothing else, it'll probably end up being a, like a chapstick or a lip gloss. I don't know if I'll like it that way. Um, it does have, it is like a lighter pink. It says it's peach, but it, at least in this lighting, it looks pink um, and it's got glitter in it. So I don't know. I also, I don't like shimmer in my blush very often, often. So yeah, I shouldn't have bought this. I know I shouldn't have bought it and I bought it anyway. So now it's in this project pan. So once I find a use, if I can find a use, then I will set a goal. Um, next for next month so the next number is number 20 it's a product you don't reach for enough so for this I actually picked a category and then I picked a product out of that category in my collection and the category is primers I did my makeup for this video um because I'm doing this later in the day didn't wear makeup to work today I came home put on some makeup for the video and I still forgot to use this product I used it on half my face <laughs> and it's primer I always forget, I always remember after I have foundation like dotted all over my face and then I remember I should have put on primer. So um, I picked this Milani Instant Touch Up Blur Stick and I picked it because I thought it was a smaller product and I might actually get 
a chance to use up the whole thing in this project project so I don't know it's five grams of product I have used some that's how much is left so my goal for this is to use it up and I think I probably can use it up if I just remember to use the product so there's that one let me roll it down okay so the next one is an item that highlights, brightens, or illuminates. And I picked a brightening item. And I picked the 111 Skin Vitamin C Brightening Booster. Yes, this was in the last round as well. And it was a fail product for me because I did not use it. But it is, oh, I'd say I've used maybe a quarter of it. You, I literally, how I use it is I add a couple drops to my face lotion. Two to three drops. That's it. And I don't use it every day because I don't wash my face in the morning every day. So I only use it like in the morning. I don't use it at night because I have other things I use. But anyways, so it's in here. I want to use it up. The shelf life of this, once it's opened, is nine months. And I got this in December or January, December of like an Ipsy Glam Bake Plus and so September would have been nine months since I had opened it so I that that's why I was in the last round because I wanted to use it before it went bad however I if the formula hasn't changed it still smells fine so I'm gonna keep using it until it goes bad I know vitamin C tends to go bad quicker than other products however I'm hoping since this is a more high-end expensive product that they used a uh, higher form of quality higher yeah or qu higher quality form of vitamin C I know like um, the one of the Sunday Riley their vitamin C moisturizer it's like they say it's higher uh, quality and it lasts longer it doesn't go bad so quick so I'm kind of thinking that maybe that's like this I don't know um, but I'm gonna use it until I either finish it or something happens where it turns color or whatever so my goal is still to use it up um and I have used it probably more in between the last round and this round than I did the entire round last time so yeah so that's in there again and I, I still think it'll be in the all four months so but it'll force me to use it some more okay moving on the next item is something from a lesser known brand and I picked a perfume. So, and one thing I wanted to mention too is uh, when I picked these products, I kind of picked products that I didn't have in my year-long project pan. So, um, the primer that was in my project pan, I I used up. What was it? Oh, yeah, okay. I think I used it up. So, I don't have a primer anymore. Um, I have a lipstick in here and I used up my lipstick in my project pan. So anyways, kind of like that, that I'm, that I'm, that's how I'm de picking my products. So I knew I wanted uh, a perfume because I had a pro a perfume in maybe my friend's project pan that I did earlier this year. So I wasn't panning a perfume. I didn't want to have to like pan two blushes or pan two of something else so close to the end of the year when I have a year long project pan going. So I don't think any of these products are, these types of products are in my year-long project pan, if that makes sense. So anyways, I picked a perfume. This is from Harvey Prince. Now mine says, has a different name on it. It says Jarrell Parker or something. And uh, I emailed them because I was like, I, I kind of figured out it's, so it's Harvey Prince Signature is the same as the Drell Parker Classico. Um, and I emailed them, they leased that fragrance to this brand and this brand doesn't exist anymore. However that works, I, I'm not sure. So anyways, it's Harvey Prince Signature is what it's called, regardless of what's on my particular bottle. And it is a heavily floral perfume. However, this may be the best thing I've ever smelled in my entire life. It's probably, if you ask me my favorite perfume, I'm probably going to say this. Uh, and I have other really, really nice perfumes that I like. However, I 
if I'm not mistaken, their products are all cruelty free and vegan, and that is hard to find in a in a fragrance. So, anyways, this is going in my project pan. I am starting. Um, I marked it right up there. My goal is to use half of this. Um, it's kind of older in my collection, and I love it so much. Yet I hardly ever wear it, and it's like I just want to sit and smell it. But I'm like, I should, I should actually use it. So anyways, this, my goal is to use half. I find that roller balls take me quite a while to get through. So that's why I'm putting, um, I'm saying half. And this, if you're curious, has 8.8 .8 milliliters in it. And, um, I think, is this the full size? I'm not even sure. It's, it's pretty close there. I think they have a larger size, but I don't know. I was going to say something else about the size. I had another uh, perfume in my other project pan and it was just a little roller ball and it took me forever. So that's why I'm setting that goal at half. If I get more than half, then great. So, Okay, uh, next one. A product you would only buy on sale. And this is another one where I picked the category and then I picked a product out of that category. So a product I would only buy on sale is high-end lipstick. Anything in the $20 range, maybe even $15 and up, I will not spend full price on. I don't spend full, I don't pay full price for a lot of products, to be honest. I get a ton of my stuff on sale, like I won't purchase it if it's not on sale. Um, and this was on clearance, so obviously I didn't pay full price for this. Um, but I picked a high-end lipstick, and this is from Lorac. It is their Alter Ego Hydrating Lip Stain in comedian and it has that kind of funny like it's spelled differently anyways you probably won't be able to see no okay and so it's kind of like a whoa it looks super red on here um I remember it being more brown kind of so I don't know if it's changed a little bit it's more just like a rosy with like a hint of brown in it and it looks way different on camera than it kind of does on in person um it's got a little bit of a sheen to it it's a little bit of a slippery formula so i do have to be careful that it doesn't run outside of my lip line especially at work but um yeah so my goal lipstick is really challenging to pan so my goal is to get rid of that uh little l um, on the side there so that all of that is gone and you can't see it. Um, it's right above halfway, so it's not quite halfway. Um, and this is, I think if I remember, is this a larger, yeah, this is a huge lipstick. It has five grams. So like the standard is like three and a half grams is standard. So this is a, this is the, uh, of it rolled up. It is huge. So Anyways, and and I already lost the cap, so hopefully I can find that so I can throw this in my purse and start using it like to yesterday. <laughs> okay. Last product is a product that is hyped on YouTube. And for this one, I picked the Flower Light Illusion Foundation. I finished two foundations in my year-long project pan, which is awesome. So I want to start working on another one. This one, it has SPF in it, so it says it expires in January. I'm not too concerned about the FPF, SPF, especially in the winter here in Wisconsin. I don't go outside a ton because it's cold and snowy, so not too concerned about the SPF. Um, I am concerned about this foundation because it tends to be a little more on the dewy side. And I have really oily skin, so... I'm not sure if I'm gonna like it. Um, I applied it today, like right before this video, and I wasn't loving it. So I may end up decluttering this. I don't know, I don't know, I probably won't. I'll probably just like suck it up and use it anyways. But um, yeah. I don't know. I, I applied it with a brush and I'm not sure if I like it with a brush. So I think I might have to try it with a sponge. I think I'll try it with a sponge. I hate using sponges though because I'm like nowhere near a sink when I get ready. It's like 
to go all the way across my apartment. It's not that big of an apartment, but it's like the clear other side. Anyways, not that big of a deal, but I think I might have to do that. Um, yeah, so, and then the other thing is, I have two of these in my collection. Actually, I have three of these. I have a light shade, and then I have two light shades and a dark shade. They were, like, clearance, clearancing them out at Walmart. Now, <clears throat> they might have just clearanced those particular shades. What shade is this? Ivory L2. So, I don't know. I think I got the darker one, then realized it was too dark, and then I went back and bought, like, another one of these. They were $5. I remember them being $5. So, I have two of them, and I think they both have the same expiration date, so I don't know, but otherwise, if I don't like it, maybe I'll, the second one I can give away, but yeah, so my goal is to use this up. Now, when I do a project pan, I'm okay using the same foundation every day. Um, you know, I might change it up one a couple times, but this is going to be my main main foundation through the end of January when this project ends. So that's kind of a lofty goal, I think. Um, it's a standard one fluid ounce bottle. So I don't, I don't know how long it's going to take me. I think it depends on the formula too. Some of them tend to go faster than others. Um, just depends kind of like on their thickness and how much you need to use in order to get the um, desired coverage that you want. So we'll see how, how this works for me. Maybe using a lot of powder with it, but we'll see. All right, so that is all of my items. I am super excited for this project. It's always so much fun, and I'm going to go binge watch everybody's uh, videos before I go to bed tonight. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. I hope you subscribe to my channel and stick around for more videos, and go check everybody else's videos out and have a blast watching them. So I will see you in the next video. Bye.